Hi everyone, welcome back to Ratchet and Clank Size Matters. In the last episode, we made it to the boss fight, um, which I said we were going to do in the episode after, which is this episode, which is what we are going to do. Because it's a three stage boss fight. So I thought we'll just wait through it this episode, because I don't know how many times it's going to take us. Oh no, it's, good. it's three stages we've got, to, we've, got to, we've got to avoid. This, and then. I have four stages because there's this that when that trans when that transforms, uh, fall and fallen rocks as well. They both play like a four stage boss fight, well mini boss fight. Can't remember how long it till it changes. I know I got hit. I did way too damage. Here we go. This is when it changes. This was probably the easiest section. It's just running and jumping over every enemy. Probably the easiest bit. This is probably the most difficult. It's really easy to get hit like that. I'm sure not, yeah, I can now put I can now put my shield on so even getting hit will be fine. May as well um get both weapons out just for, for when we have to do the actual fight. We need to make sure we don't get hit off or off. There we go. straight through the shield. It going through the shield really easily. I assume that they they'd actually fire. I should try and keep a couple shields back. Bullets really don't seem to be intending to do much. Problem with the weapon is. Oh, I got hit. That sucks. Is you've got to be pretty stationary, but to, stationary to use it. I'll take the weapon vendor. Okay, we need to go again. Okay, it's going to take multiple attempts because it's all about making sure we don't get hit on any of the three segments leading up to it. But also making sure, the problem is with the weather of this, you've got to make sure you hit. If you don't hit, you'll end up with a uh, waste of ammo. Because the optical master array is all about um, accuracy. I don't know if I ever would hit again in that section again. It's 
definitely doable because we did it first time around. It took us like three, four attempts that time. Second section is definitely easiest. Run around, just run around in circles. Damn it, I got hit again. <laughs> I got hit twice again. Go. It just also goes straight through my shield. Um, do I have any other weapons? No. Well, I technically have the um. Gonna help with that. Um, Need to try and uh, use the PDA and jump. Problem is, it just it does that. It one hits the shield. Got the half health, but we do only have we only have one shield left. And there's my first, there's my last shield gone, which makes this fight ever more hard. She's a avoid take size to fire. Oh, I got hit. I got hit. Not so close though. We definitely need like probably like one more uh wanna see more shields. I need to probably just use the uh, laser array all the way from the beginning. need to do. Because that seems to be our best um, weapon. Made it through the source section without being hit at all. I'm 
you probably can do the session without, without jumping, but it's far easier just to jump over everything. Yeah, we have to the first section without, without needing to jump. We weren't really getting hit, I mean. Through bow sections, I'm getting hit. Okay, so we'll do that, we'll pick it up. by the PDX. Come on, that's so annoying. We really, that's really down to um, when you're trying to fight with the ultimate restore and it's side and and, and, and what's rota rotating on the side, it makes it really. That's really sad for me. It's really, it's really frustrating. Because it's consistently moving uh, around, it's really you got to keep. Um, nah, this one's not going to go away. You got to keep consistently um, resetting the um, resetting yourself. You came so close. Well, the shield just kept on getting, kept keeps on getting um, like one hit from every weapon that thing's got. Rapid, just, 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 just have to just, just leap forward. Don't think this run's gonna go necessarily the way we want it. To. Give him. We can maybe like if we reckon we would like other uh, that's another case to have five shields. Had we enough to be fractions more accurate Oh that didn't hit me. 
We've got 17 health to start this fight. Probably isn't gonna go well. I have to give myself some. That is then the then that is then the issue of. You only seem to have, I think, 70, it seems like it's 75 health for the, for the most you get in challenge run. Always managing to perfectly hit you though. That's kind of annoying. Managed it perfectly. Ten four. Just really irritating. I came so close. Yeah, I keep, I keep just getting, just getting hit. Okay, now onto the, we can get, we can get to the that fight pretty easily, but it's just having enough firepower to easily win. When I can't pick up shields, I then also can't buy them either. Which does seem to make it a little bit weighted. Just need to keep running around. Cause, cause that's, cause that's fair, isn't it? Um, we'll, we'll spawn you. Oh, come on. That's really annoying because the shield's fractionally able to stay up fractions fractionally longer. You're probably okay though. Nope. Didn't really want. Didn't really want to jump onto that uh, health box. What? So, so the. Let's see if that makes 
Gives us another weapon. Might make this fight a bit easier. Because if we, I mean, if it comes down to it, if it means we just have to use this a lot, I'm pretty sure we might be able to buy this from the with the PDA. It might be what's necessary because you can buy it from the PDA, and we don't, we, and it's got a lock on. Um, it's got a lock on. We should it make it a lot easier because things that have lock on me. Fighting enemies with the optical master ray a lot easier because you've got to stay stationary if you use it. It's a powerful weapon, but you've got to stay stationary. And I. The only time I've been hit by one of them. I just need to go run around again. Keep avoiding enemies. See if this strategy is any better. Can buy them from the thing. Okay, I need to quickly mess around with my clicks so I need to drop a weapon off. So I'm gonna drop the agents of dread. I'm have to just gonna have to I'm just gonna have to take that hit. Because yeah, it's not doing overall massive damage. It's doing decent damage. It means more on like a basis of like cost, we should be okay. Because we're, we're not obviously, we're, we're able to do a lot more avoiding. I think one, one or two more hits, I'm going to start switching to using, using my shield. I think that's it. I'll switch to using my shield now, actually. Because as long as we don't get hit, one shield shield will last shields will start to last a lot longer. Because it decides us to. You know, I have a shot rocket earlier because the part seems to be pretty decent, even on challenge mode. It seems to be hitting the enemies for a decent bit. Didn't mean to switch to Sprite Matic. And we can pick them up as well, which is really good.
adapting adapting strategy adapting a strategy of normally just use one weapon use the op op uh, optical master array into buying a new weapon and it working out so we're pretty annoyed if I, I, I'll be pretty annoyed if this run fails Um, I got here as my fun. You are actually, you are actually. Oh, that's a that's really frustrating. At least we know not the strategy. The strategy, the strategy works. Oh, that's that's really frustrating. It managed to. It was one hit away. Nope. No way. Literally needed probably like a shield for like half a second. That's so, that's so annoying. Ah, oh, that's bad. That's really quite frustrating. So you look at the health bar and that. Was probably not even that much left. We've got to have been like close to putting it to one hit range. The short rocket strategy definitely works though. Probably should have bought the weapon earlier, so I could have had it leveled. Because level did do a lot more than just like like a little what like a smidge. You're probably looking at without. I got hit again. Yeah, I think we just got away with that not hitting us.
and just jump around. And we are there. right underneath me. No, no. You're now going to start setting up the um, reporter fields. <laughs> no, the There we go. We then walk inside Clank. Because he's got tag nights inside him. And that'll be of course where we end today's episode. So thank you for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and until next time, see ya!